Hi everyone from Motion VFX. In this video, I will give you some tips and tricks using Mfreeze Frame Action in order to create cool effects with complex elements to extract. But first, a quick overview of the various plugins from Motion VFX I've used inside this trailer. To start with, I've mixed for the titles two plugins, M Title Pop and M Title Kinetic. Both are packed with many presets and animation. Very useful if you want to create quick and easy dynamic titles. For the first shot, the one with the diamond, the main issue was that the original shot didn't have any sparkling diamond. In fact, there were some dark dots inside the diamond, which is not so good for the most expensive diamond in the movie. So to resolve this situation, I've used M-Flare 2, which gave me the possibility to add a nice flare on the diamond and at the same time hide the three dots. M-Flare 2 is available in the FX library and it is just so powerful as you can start with a preset, you can track the flare, but also you can customize each parameters, each effects. For example, here I can switch to a new preset and add or remove, edit any parameters from this preset. I can adjust the brightness or change the intensity of the glow. M-Frame is also a very useful plugin when you want to divide a picture with several elements. M-Frame is based on the drop zone, very easy to use. In the generators library, you can select how many elements you want, then you have to select which kind of animation you desire. For the trailer, I've combined M-Frame with M-Transition to keep the same style and energy. As M-Transition gives me a lot of possibilities to customize all the parameters. So let's talk about the main plugin for this video, M-Freeze Frame Action. M-Freeze Frame Action is a complete set of tools which will give you the possibility to freeze time in the video and extract an element with a very cool animation and parallax effects. M-Freeze Frame Action is composed by several elements. First, you have 30 presets to start with. but you will have also additional elements like backgrounds, overlays effects, and titles. All these additional elements can be easily composite with all the 30 presets. The first tip and tricks concern when you want to adjust the age of the mask, and especially when you want to play with the blur parameter. In some cases, it is difficult to see the result of the blur parameters as there is a mask overlay on the top of the effect, So to hide the mask layout, you just have to click on the transform tool. It will remove the tools overlay, but keep all the parameters in the inspector. Then you can easily adjust the blur range. When you're done, you just have to click again on the transform tool and get back the mask overlay. For the hacker, I've used another preset which contains flares and particles effects. As for the previous preset, you can modify any parameters. Here I can change the saturation and the tint of the flare, modify the positions. In the background, there is a particle emitter, so you can customize the emission, the burst rate, the speed, the color, and many more parameters. If you want to add another off-screen flare, for example, or an effect not present in the preset, it is possible by using the additional elements inside m Frame Action. So going back to the Generators library, I can go to the Overlay FX, and for example, drag and drop the off-screen flare. It will add some light on the right side, which was dark. As the preset, I can modify many parameters to customize the flare. I can modify the hue, the saturation, the opacity, and many more. 
Then I will add a foreground effect. It will add a texture over my layers. I can change the hue also to match with the other elements. But what is really nice is the fact that you can change the type of texture. With a drop down menu, you can switch between several textures. Some are scratches, lens dirt, or paper. But I will select the glitch texture, which will match perfectly with my character. To conclude with this shot, I will have to add a title. In typography, I will drag and drop the first title. I will modify it. And it's done. The next example is quite simple as the preset will add some viewfinder overlay on the top of my clip. This one is also fully customizable as you can modify the size, the color of the viewfinder elements. The other example is showing also a nice preset. This one adds multiple layers in the front and on the back of the character. So I've got Fireball 1, which is behind. I can move it, change the scale and play with the heat effect, for example. The second layer, Fireball 2, is on the top of my character and I can also modify everything like the position directly inside the viewer. This preset integrates also particles that you can fully control. With the following example, we'll go further with the compositing elements. Until now, we've kept the original background, but sometimes you may need to replace the background with a new one. First, I will hide the title and the foreground effect to be more focused on my character. By default, the background is integrated inside the effect. We can modify the size, the letterbox, the blur. But to remove the background, we will have to use the function isolate mask in order to keep only your character. Then you will select the freeze frame action effect and the video clip and create a compound clip with these two elements. Now inside the generators library, I will select a background element from m frame action. I will drag and drop inside the project, but below my compound clip. In the inspector, I can switch between several textures and change the tint, the level, the scale and the position. I can replace this one by another one like the city element. I will select a nice texture and modify the tint in blue. Now I can call back my foreground effect and the title and it's done. Don't hesitate to mix the different elements, effects, background, overlays, but you can also use your own elements if you want. Let's see how to use m frame action with a complex object like this one, the boss and the bow. First, I've already chosen the frame by adding a marker. It is very useful to be sure to get the right frame at any time. Then I will select the preset and add it on the top of my clip. So now I've got the effect. I will just scale a little bit the shot to remove the letterbox. Now we'll need to set the frame for the effect. Just click on the set current frame. Now I can draw the mask around the character by mixing straight line and Bezier curves. I can check the result and adjust some points to be more accurate. I can see there is a problem between the arm and the body as it is not transparent. 
and the background is moving like the character. To fix this problem, I need to modify the mask shape. I need to remove the background like this. Of course, I'm also removing a part of the arm, but it's not a big issue. To go further with this shot and keep everything clear for everyone, I will copy these two elements and paste them in the new project. And in fact, I will paste it twice. I will go to the second element and I will remove the mask by using the clear functionality. I will set the frame again, be careful to select the same frame as before. And now I will draw a mask around the part of the arm missing. I can check the result. With this preset, I will remove the stripes and adjust the edge with the blur. Then I will activate the Isolate Mask option. It will keep only the arm and remove everything else. Now I can select the clip and the effect and create a compound clip. I will just have to put the compound clip on the top of the first part, like this. Check the result. As it is a compound clip, this is not destructive, so you can click on it and change some parameters. Here I will remove the noise effect. And now the arm is perfectly integrated with my first element. I can reproduce the same technique to add the arrow and the string. Now I can customize the preset by playing with different parameters. I can add overlays effects like the gradient effect where I can change the color and the orientation. I can add also particles, change the color, the size and the birth rate. I will also add off-screen flare and modify it. Letterbox effect is also nice. And at last, I will add the title. This is very versatile as I can change the order of the effect. So if you want particles on the top of the letterbox, it is possible. So now I can select all the elements, create a compound clip and integrate the effect inside my editing. Render it and let's play the final effect. For more information about Mfreeze Frame Action and all the other solutions from Motion VFX, only one address, motionvfx.com. To watch more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to the Motion VFX YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.